Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know, I know, it's been a minute. <laughs> but I'm back with another protective style video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys these lovely short crochet passion twists. Uh, this is actually my first time doing a short uh, crochet hairstyle. Most of the crochet hair I get is usually medium length to long length. So this is my first time doing short and I actually really like it. I love how it's so lightweight um, and I love how I can just kind of wake and shake and then I'm ready to go for the day. Um, so uh, some details on the hair which I'll have linked down below. So the hair that I used, um, I brought the little card, the Tiana Passion Twist hair, and it is in the color one. I, yeah, it's just a number one. And um, I got it in 10 inches. They do have different lengths available. Um, and I did purchase these on Amazon, so I will have that link down below. Um, so if you guys want to try it out too, you can purchase it directly through Amazon. Um, so the pack comes with eight bundles of Passion Twists. And in each bundle, there are 12 twists total. Um, I used all the hair um, <laughs> in, the, in the package because I have a huge head and I have a lot of hair to cover up, a lot of thick hair to cover up. So um, I ended up using all eight packs. Um, and I also even, which I'll show you guys in the video, I even threw in some, pulling up, oh, there it goes. I threw in some uh, regular um, spring twist hair um, to kind of fill in some spaces, some that I had left over uh, from a previous hairstyle. And you can also buy these twists in single bundles. So if you want to get different colors, um, so if you want to do black and like maybe do like a brown or something like that or a blonde, they do sell them in individual packs on the uh, on the Tiana website, so you can get them there too. Um, otherwise, you can buy a full pack on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. Stay tuned until the end so you guys can see how I uh, styled this this hair. Um, in different styles to give you guys some ideas. So if you want to try and before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, the subscri subscriber count is growing. Um, I'm glad that y'all are here. You guys could be anywhere else, but you guys are here. So I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for the love and let's get into the video. All right, guys, so let's get into it. We have the Tiana Passion Twist hair in the color one. Um, again, it came with eight bundles. And with each bundle, it had 12 individual Passion Twists. Um, and I used all eight packs. So I had a lot of hair to cover, which you'll see in the video. So I used all packs that came with it. I'm gonna use my rat tail comb, my edge brush, uh, my melanin hair care cream, and my cream nature edge control. Um, and here I'm going to go in like I always do and do my illusion boxes up in the front. And if you haven't seen me do this already, I'll demonstrate it for you guys real quick here. But basically, um, I just take the front half of my hair and I create individual boxes and then connect each box to each other going backwards. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right here. And I also do this in my previous crochet videos, which I'll link up in the cards if you wanna check that out. This is the easy pattern to do if you don't know how to cornrow or you don't know how to braid um, like me. So you can do this um, all throughout your hair or if you know how to cornrow, you can stop at the middle and then cornrow the rest back. Or you can flat twist the rest back like I do later on in the video. Um, but here is the technique for you guys in case you don't know and I'll link a previous video that I did up in the cards showing this same technique as well. And when you get 
it to your next box, you're just gonna take the first piece of hair from the first box and incorporate it into the braid in the back and just braid so that way they're both connected and then you end up with two illusion boxes. So I'm gonna do this throughout the rest of my hair and I'll be back with the next steps. done with my illusion boxes and don't come for me about my parts because you guys already know I do not part very well and nobody's going to be all up and through my hair looking at my parts. So here I'm going to show you guys or attempt to show you guys how I flat twist my hair, the rest of my hair back and this is the easy, easiest way I can explain it. It's So you start with two strands and you start twisting and then for each pass you do so when you bring the hair down to twist it under you just pick up hair as you go so it's sort of the tech same technique as corn rowing um, or you know braiding backwards but it's just twisting so instead of using three strands you use two and every time that piece of hair at the top when you go to bring it down to um, twist it under you just grab more hair when you come down until you get to the bottom and you have no more hair then you just keep twisting um, that's the best way I can describe it there's lots of videos here on YouTube where you can learn how to flat twist this is where I learned how to flat twist watching YouTube videos um, I'm not the best at it yet um, even though I've been doing it for a long time um, but it gets the job done for my crochet styles and because I don't know how to braid um, this is what I can do <laughs> so um, but if you know how to braid then you're already uh, one step ahead of the game so this is pretty much what I have at the end and this is what I will have at the end when I flat twist everything down um, and what I'm gonna do at the end is just gather them all up into a ponytail in the back of my head because this style I do plan to wear down I don't really plan to wear it up and if I do then I'll just throw on a headband or a head wrap to cover up the back but this is what I have at the end of the twist and then I'll show you guys the other side that I did um, so that's what it's looking like so when you flat twist that's about what it should look like if you're better at it it'll look a little neater um, so I'm going to do this for the remainder of my head and then we'll get ready to install the twists so this is my pattern at the end and do not worry about those two big twists in the middle i am going to cover that up that's why i ended up having to use all packs because i had to cover up all that hair um so we're going to start to add in the hair and as you can see the loops are very flexible easy to work with um, and the hair is lightweight it's not stiff at all it's very soft so it was easy to crochet under my hair um, and loop it and tie it now I will suggest if your hair is not as thick if you have finer hair I would suggest um, tying twice so that's once you put the hair through once and pull like you instead of pulling you do another loop and pull it through twice so i would recommend that if your hair is uh, finer or thinner um, but because my hair is so thick and it's coarse it it'll hold the style and it won't come undone so i'm just going to do this throughout the rest of my hair and make sure to cover up everything in the back and then I will show you guys the hair that I added with the spring twist hair. So here is the final look with all eight packs of hair in my head and even with all the hair in there it's still not heavy it's still lightweight 
and here I'm going to add in some spring twist hair. This hair is from Beyond Beauty. I also got this from Amazon. Uh, I can't remember the color, but I'll, I'll link it below also. And um, what I did was just some spaces that I had at the top. I used this hair to kind of fill it in. And also too, it gave a cute little pop of color to the style. So I was kind of digging that too. So um, since this hair isn't pre-twisted, I basically just go in and crochet it in like I would like a regular twist and then pull it through, uh, tie it down, and then I just twist the hair down. And then I did have to cut it a little bit so that way it would match the length of the passion twist hair. Um, and even though, you know, it's not the same type of twist, um, it's still it's still blended in very well um, but also too like I said you can buy these crochet twists individually and you and if you want to have different colors kind of uh, spread out through the style you can buy these packs individually as well um, you don't necessarily have to use the spring twist hair but that was all I had available so I just added those in throughout the style to finish up the look